driven that into the ground. And you can say, well, we don't want to be religious. Okay, oh, yes, I get it. But so so many people have just driven that into the ground. They, they so don't want to be religious anymore that they're no longer godly. The point is not to be religious, although there's nothing wrong with pure religion. Pure religion is caring for the orphans and widows and keeping yourself unspotted from the world. So there's pure religion. And I get, no, we don't want to be religious. But so many people have talked themselves and many others, thousands, millions, out of being godly. So you can say, why would you read that much Bible? Why would you watch that much TV? It's like, I'm serious, and I don't even, I, I, I'm, I'm asking the Lord, I'm, I'm treading in fear and trembling. What, honey? Praise God. I'm like walking in fear and trembling because I don't want to get on a tangent against anything, but I feel the pleasure of the Lord, so I'm going to continue. If it lifts, I'll stop. People have come against this church. It's not about this church, except we're about Jesus. So, But when I found the Lord, when I found that he was looking at me, that's what I found. He wasn't lost. I found that he was looking at me. I found that he had found me. I found that he loves me. I found that he's real. No Hindu or Muslim tried to talk me out of that. Only Christians. And it was, don't don't think about it so much. Don't spend your energy that much. You need balance. For every spiritual thing you do, you should do a carnal thing, literally. And, and it was interesting because at no point was I like, you watch too much TV. I didn't say, y'all watch too much TV. Why are you drinking? Why are you? I didn't say any of that. I didn't. But they came to me saying, why are you reading that much? You should, you should do this. Does anybody ever think about what is being gained by the hours of television I watch? And what could be gained? Oh, my God. What could be gained? What could be gained? What could be gained by hours in his word with him? And we're not talking about rules and regulations. We're not talking about. Religion. We're talking about godly because many people say, don't be so heavenly minded that you're of no earthly good. Well, what about being so earthly minded that you're no good to anyone? So so many people have bought this lie and they're like, you don't want to be religious. And, and they've talked themselves and everybody who comes their way out of being spiritual, out of being godly, out of being pure. Out of even wanting purity. It's like the, 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 the pursuit is more to pursue worldliness so you're not perceived as imbalanced. So you're not perceived as religious. God, forgive us. God, help us. God, deliver us. I'm asking right now, anybody in this room? Me? Anyone listening? Every place that is that, that is taken root even if you're like, well, that's not right, but it's still um, prospering in your heart. In the name of Jesus, every evil spirit behind that be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Every evil spirit that brings this deception that we should disguise love for Christ, that we should disguise a longing and a hunger for truth, for righteousness, that to disguise a longing and a calling to worshipers who worship in spirit and in truth in the name of Jesus, every evil spirit that comes against that be broken in Jesus' name. Every mindset that feels we've got to justify love for the Lord, excuse, qualify, apologize for, 
in Jesus' name, every mindset that comes against holiness, godliness, purity. Oh, Lord, deliver us. Deliver us, Lord. Help us, God. 